Welcome to the 2020-21 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video number 7. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This weekly whistle will focus on flopping. There are three types of flops. Block charge flops, head bob flops, and perimeter shooter flops. Officials have done a good job with block charge flops this season. The head bob flop has all but eliminated itself. However, we can improve our enforcement of the perimeter shooter flop. Let's look at some plays. Number three white attempts a three-point shot from the corner and then takes a dive to the floor. The trail official signals a flop and subsequently issues a flop warning when the play finished. Number 10 black attempts a three-point shot and then takes a dive to the floor. The trail official signals a flop and subsequently issues a flop warning when the play finished. Number four, White, catches a throw-in pass, shoots a jump shot, and then dives to the floor. The center official signals a flop, waits for the basket to be scored, stops play, and issues a flop warning on number four, White, for flopping. Well done. Number 13 White attempts a three-point shot and then takes a dive to the floor. When a shooter dives to the floor in this manner, he is trying to fool the official into calling a foul. This is a flop and needed to be penalized. Number 5 Blue attempts a shot and then takes a dive to the floor. When a shooter dives to the floor in this manner, he is trying to fool the official into calling a foul. This is a flop and needed to be penalized. Number one blue attempts a shot, kicks his leg out to draw a foul, and then takes a dive to the floor. When a shooter dives to the floor in this manner, he is trying to fool the official into calling a foul. This is a flop and needed to be penalized. This last play is a variation to a flopping play. Number four blue drives toward the lane and attempts a shot. Number zero white defends the play. Number four blue had left the floor prior to number zero white getting to his defensive position. Subsequently, number zero white flops on the play. This is an extremely difficult play to officiate. This is a defensive foul on number zero white for taking away the landing spot of an airborne number four blue and should have been called. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.